hey loves welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how i did this lock petal mohawk for a formal event um, i hope you enjoy please keep watching i think i showed you guys the picture but if not i'll put it on the screen again pretty much it looks like she did three like different ponytail sections and then did the um the petals within those sections so we'll see hopefully i can make quick work of it because i'm already behind on schedule so as you can probably already tell, I woke up super early this day and did a fresh retwist on my hair. Um, I wanted to make sure that the hair was freshly done because with the style, you can see every single angle of it. So I just got up really early to make sure that it was dry in time. And then I just put this wrap on the edges so that it can give like a slick look. I'm just gonna cut this. also go to the store and buy like a 500 pack of rubber bands because I only had a few um, so with these I should be set so like I said it looks like she did three sections and I have an undercut in the back that I need to make sure it looks up to par my dilemma is this is still supposed to be like somewhat of a formal style but it's a formal look so I'm just hoping that the style is not too informal. So this is the part where you really have to pay attention. I'm going to re-record this style in the future. This was kind of like my trial and error session of the style. I didn't really know how it was going to turn out. I was just trying my best. So I didn't get the best content of how exactly um, I was able to make it look the way it did. I just wanted to show you guys what I did at the time. But essentially, you are doing a three ponytail look it, it looks like a mohawk when the style is done but to start it off you're just going to section your hair into three ponytails or four and what I noticed is this style looks a lot better the fuller your hair is I don't have full hair so my goal was to try to make it look as full as possible which is why I'm kind of like pulling the hair out um, making sure that the sections are close together for me if you have a whole lot of hair this is going to be perfect for you because you really won't be able to see much but lock petals everywhere but for me if you have a thinner set of locks I tried to make sure that uh, the ponytails were as close together as possible because it's not really supposed to look like ponytails it should give like a seamless you know uh, mohawk look so that was my goal with this also, you want to make sure you have a lot of rubber bands. This style took a lot of rubber bands. Um, I mentioned already I had a few in the morning when I started and I had to go to the store and get a big pack. You're going to need a rubber band to secure all of the ponytails. And then you're going to need a rubber band for each individual lock petal. So if you know you have a lot of hair, um, you, you are going to need probably double the amount of rubber bands, if not more than the amount of locks you have. So for example, I have roughly 47 locks. I probably have about 100 rubber bands in my hair right now. So the three ponytails are secure. I got them as close together as I think that I can. And I'm just making sure it's lined up and looking nice. And this is when I start the petals. So the way you do this is it it takes a little bit of practice. I have to be honest. Um, after you start, you get the swing of it. But essentially, you fold your lock in half. And you're going to try to get one or two of these petals out of the lock. If you want the petals to look full, you're going to do two petals per lock but I doubled up the lock folded it in half like so and put a rubber band over top of that section and when you do it correctly there's going to be a little bit of lock left over and you're going to make another petal out of those so you're really just folding it in half and putting a rubber band over top of it um, the tricky part is just making sure that it looks nice and secure this style, I'm not going to lie, when you start it, it looks crazy. Like, it's, it just looks like, what am I doing here? But it's the fullness that makes the style look nice. So when you do one or two, it doesn't really look nice. But when you have a head full of them, it starts to 
like begin to look nice. And I just took it ponytail by ponytail. Even if it looks a little weird at first, I just kept going, doing that half of a lock, fold it over, half of a lock, fold it over. Some locks were not long enough for me to do a double, so I just did one lock pedal where I just folded the lock over and put a rubber band at the end. And after a while, it's, the look started to come together. Like I said, the fuller, um, the more rubber bands and the more petals I had, the fuller it looked and it started to look more seamless. And at the end, I just picked the style out and I loved it. I got so many compliments on it. This is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you also recreate this look. I would love to see your versions of it and then credit to the person who did it. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.